uh, Milk Cooks and Games here, and um, today we'll be doing, uh, what is it, episode 6 I think it is, of the series, series 1, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, pretty much Endless Waves, um, so I've got a bit of a scenario on set up here, and got the Russians here, um, so I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration first, no way you got an idea. A uh, majority of you probably would know what Endless Waves um, is. Um, basically, the vehicles won't spawn until a certain amount of men have been killed for both of the squads. So, for the first one, which is the BTR, 30 men have to be killed. And then, same here, which is the T-34 for this squad, um, 30 men again and the vehicle will spawn. The vehicle is spawned. So I just turn down the audio is a little bit loud. <laughs> and I kind of want the key. Takes a forever to load these options. Uh, let's just turn it down a notch. That should be alright, I think. Alright, let's throw the tank spawn. As you see, it just keeps going and going. Um, all the infantry have been killed. <laughs> Bloody hell. There's the second wave. And we'll just keep going like this. So, cool. Um, each of these squads here have 40 men, I believe. Uh, let me just check. 40? Yeah, 40 entities. Um, so, there's 80 right here, and there'll be another 80. These are the ones we'll be setting up. Um, I forgot to set up these ones, but I can show you them as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll set up an endless wave here, and then over here we'll set up a, an amount. So, for instance, um, have a squad of 20 here, or a squad of 10, and only four squads can be spawned. And same over here, four, so you can have 40 here. And so four times that is 160 um, but I'll explain that all to you guys later let's begin doing this so we want to start with um, this one first basically so we'll take away that hidden I added uh, there won't be one for you but that's okay O3 and we'll put a Russian on the score in. So basically you need to have these two tags. Um, this one is for the actual um, squad itself to spawn them. And the next one is for the, you know, uh, when they die uh, to spawn the BTR in. So I'm going to put a hidden after that. Uh, that's just beat oh. Move that. Go. Let's go on 02 and hit it. And that's pretty much it for that. Let's go into here. Oh, let's go. Oh, I don't want to copy it. I just want to add. That way, you guys know. Basically, that's all the scripting there is that we'll be doing, so it's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, whoops. Uh, entity. No, it's not. It's in generic. So go to generic and go while command. Uh, click on entities here. Put in that Russian tag that we gave it just then, which is somewhere. Where do you go? Oh, there it is. Cool. Um, it's endless, so you don't have to touch any of that. I'm going to go add, uh, add inside and go active waypoint. Now we haven't set any waypoints up, but that's okay. We'll do that in right now. Um, we'll just add the uh, thing there, the tag, which would be that one. Um, so as you can see, <clears throat> these are the waypoints for the two squads here. So the second one spawns there and one spawns here. Um, gone berserk here. <laughs> the waypoints. Uh, but, like, obviously, when you guys do this, it'll be a little bit more cleaner. This looks quite fuck, um, fucking 
It's just all over the place. It's horrendous. Um, but like you, you can have them spawn and then run straight. <laughs> have them one run straight, like on a on a single waypoint like that. You know, single line. But um, if you do it like this, then when they spawn here, a random amount of soldiers will go this way or this way or this way, different, and then they'll venture off into different waypoints and then they'll go over there. Like um, if you, if, pretty much, if you watch the patrols, I explain that. Um, so basically, we want these guys to start. Oh, I don't know, about there in the bush, so you can't see them spawning. What is that? 153. And then you, you, you guys will see me watch that. So you can have them go like this, straight through. Stop at the church there, whatever. Uh, actually, have that up to there. You can have them do that, but they're going to go in one straight line, and then it's just going to look stupid, um, in my opinion. Um, literally, there's you know they're not going to be using any of this other space on the battlefield except that one, that little bit where that waypoint is. So. Uh, actually, I'm going to bring that down to here, like I did there, and then bring that there, and that's fine. Okay, so here we'll, we can start doing it, venturing off, so one there, have them go. You can have them stop at different places. Um, whoops, that goes there. I was trying to keep this video short, but um, completely forgot about the waypoints uh, that have to be done. And this is this pretty much is probably the longest part of the uh, tutorial. Will be setting up the waypoints, um, but like you can you can set them up pretty easily, pretty quickly as well. Bang! Have them stop there, I guess. Um, Go there and have them stop there, I guess. Uh, and you can also link. So if I grab this one, right, which is what I've done over here, you can see, um, for example, see this one here, 67 links onto 19 and it links onto 24. So when they go here, it'll be a random. So they'll either go here or here. Um, so you can do that. I'll show you how you do that. So you want to select the waypoint first. So this one first. If don't select that one and do that one. Um, select the waypoint you want to link to the other one. Uh, so, for instance, it's, sorry, I'm not making any sense, but it'll, it'll, it'll make sense when you actually go to do it. Um, so, select, we'll select 171, and then you sh hold down shift and select 154. And you can see here it goes 171 and 154. Um, if you did it the other way, for instance, that way to that way, it puts it in that order, so 158 comes first, and then 178, and then you'll have it like that. Like that. So when they go here, the arrow here goes down to here. So, for instance, if they reach this waypoint, instead of going straight, they might just come back to 171. And then it'll just be like a, a full triangle, you know, uh, going in circles. So you don't want that. Um, so you can have them go there, or we'll actually do that, and then we'll link that one there as well. Um, let's add another one off to here. Like that, like so. Have them go up as well. Have them stop about there. Um, because we've got two squads, I'm not going to sit there anymore after this. It'll be the last one here. Okay, there we go. And what is it? 153. So let's go do this. Um, one, five, three. And then you want to add a actor state, very important. On, it's AI, open, free roam. Um, disable that, AI movement. You don't want them, move, you want them just to charge um, and not stop, even though they're taking bullets. Um, but the only reason, the only way I'll make them stop is if they get injured so they can heal themselves. Um, but if you don't do that, they'll just run. Even though the enemy's shooting, they won't stop. They'll just run, 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 run until they reach the end of their waypoint, which would be uh, whatever, here or over there. Um, now, to turn that back on, you have to kind of do what I've done over here. 
Um, you don't have to do this, like if you want them to stop and instead of just running, but because they're Russians, no, no offense, but they you know, um, they did charge a lot. A lot of their charge, they didn't really stop to shoot the enemy. It was pretty much to overwhelm the positions. Um, but you can do what I've done here. So along, that's why I've done the uh, waypoints along the barbed wire here. You add an active state, just give it the same waypoint, which I'll show you before, and you just change it to um, disabled again, but injured an enemy. Um, so when they get there, they'll stop, attack the enemy, and then once the enemy has been cleared or whatnot, then they'll move again. And, um, so, yeah, you can do that. Um, okay, so I just lost a bit of track there. Uh, and then you want to add in a delay. Uh, what did I add there before? I think 45, okay. Oops, 453, yeah, right. Uh, and then, oh, you don't want to add inside, you just want to um, click add anywhere and go trigger. And uh, obviously click on the one there. Uh, okay, so now that's set up, that will spawn and, and do their thing. Want to add um, a BTR here, so we'll add just underscore two there and um, Basically, in here, be an if command, uh, which is again in generic entities. Now you want to give it that Russian squad name here, Russian Infantry Squad underscore three, and you want to go. Uh, I believe it's that one. Thirty. Let me just double check to ensure this is correct. Nope. Uh, the other one. Sorry, guys. It's this one here. With these, I always forget. Like it's like yeah. So you want it to be um. What's that? That's yeah. It's less than, isn't it? That's greater. Than, yeah, no, yeah, greater than or equals to thirty. Um, you don't want it less than thirty. Otherwise, there's really no point having less thirty there. Um, as soon as one gets killed, the vehicle will spawn. So yep, greater than or equals to thirty. And then add inside. And then do the exact same as before your generic while entities. I'm going to give it the BTR tag this time. Um, but this time I only want a few to spawn. Um, so, just that one. And I'm just going to double check to ensure this is correct again. Yeah, so it's the other one here. So you want to put that one there. Oh, no, that's the fucking wrong. Oh, my God. That one, yeah. So less than or equals to four. So that way only four will spawn. Otherwise, you could have the, the vehicles um, spawn infinitely, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, but it's pretty much the same as the infantry. And you want to do an active waypoint. So I'm going to do the uh, waypoints for the vehicles. Teleport and rotate. Quickly do the uh, away points for the vehicle. The vehicle I, I'm just going to have go on a straight line for the purpose of the tutorial. Um, you can do multiple for the vehicle like I've done here, but just so we don't waste any more time. 183. Now you want to add inside and do your active state. Again, AI, open, uh, move is free, weapons on, and I just leave that the way that is. Um, you can actually enable that. Um, also, with the infantry, I forgot to mention, um, usually what happens is they, um, when they start getting low on numbers, they tend to retreat back to their previous waypoint. And... So as soon as they reach here, they're going to reach there. If they start getting low in numbers, so say there's 10 guys left, they'll probably retreat back to here until the next squad spawns. Um, I don't want that to happen. I want them just to either, they're going to shoot the enemy or they're going to die pretty much. So you go to active state and go down to um, no retreat and turn on. 
Um, and there you go. You can also put a, a ratio there as well if you want. So we've turned that off pretty much. And um, so yep, and then we want to add a uh, just quickly delay, and I think that's uh, 60 seconds. And then add in, oh no, no, whoop, the trigger's outside. So, just, yeah, 60 seconds, cool. So that's done. So the reason why I only spawn one, you got to, um, same with the infantry, so for example, if I wanted to spawn four squads of infantry, um, and because there's 40, you have to times that by number the number of times you want to spawn it. So, for instance, again, if you want to spawn just four squads of infantry, of 40, 4 times 40 is 160. I'm just going to double check. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, let me just... Four. Yeah, so it's 160. So therefore you put here 160, right? Like that. And it'll spawn 4 times. Um, so that that's how you do that if you wanted to do instead of infinite or endless waves and you just wanted a set amount. There you go. Um, so it's based on how many units are in here. Minus the vehicle, how many units are here? So if you've got 20, and you want to spawn it four times, you times it by four. Um, so there you go. That that explains that. Um, that way, I don't have to do over here. Otherwise, it's going to be a really long tutorial, and um, probably bore you guys. So that that's how you do that. Pretty much, it's fairly simple. If you have any questions, just um, let me know. Um, and the vehicle spawned. <laughs> it's always a bloody mistake. Uh, that's alright. Okay, that's cool. What have I done wrong? Uh, it'll be here. Won't it? Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. That's quite obvious. See? So, um, in the inf... Um, if command, you want to go to state and put pretty much dead, um, that solves your problem. So Simple things like that, you know, and it's good that I make mistakes, um, just make sure they all, you know, it shows you guys uh, the solutions and the fix, you know, um, especially to you guys who are new and you might not know what happened, if you've forgotten it, um, so it shows you. But as you can see how they've all separated on the waypoints. Makes it look a bit cooler. Like... Vehicles arriving now. So 45 seconds and the next one should spawn. So that'd be nice. There we go. And there's your endless... Um, Endless waves, if you want to call it that, so. There you go, the vehicles are spawned. The, the T 34s arrived. Now they can look quite cool. As you can see, they're getting slaughtered. Because I've got them on disabled. Um, they're getting slaughtered because the active state's on disabled. Again, you don't have to have that on there. Um, it's entirely up to you. But if you want an authentic charge, where they just charge, especially if you're using the Russians or whatever, or the Japanese, uh, for example, you can just, again, on the waypoints, add the active state. Unfortunately, you have to do one by one. And if you have, you know, this many or that many to do, it can take some time. But you know what? It, it you know, it's up to you guys. Um, Pretty much ends. I'm not going to worry about these these ones. It's the same process, uh, same scripting, same everything. Um, the only thing that's different is it's a tank. So um, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just going to take too long. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you don't mind me sometimes uh, mucking up and whatnot, uh, or forgetting some of the things <laughs> I've had to go back. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, um, 
yeah, anyway, the next tutorial, uh, I'm not sure what it is, uh, like, but yeah, I'll, you'll, you'll see when it comes out, I guess. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched my other ones, go back and have a look and let me know. Comment down below if you have any troubles. Um, anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day, guys.